Hey man, you know who it is, man. I hope y'all does, man. Look, man, for me, we back at it again on that video. For me, if you're new, scrap, I fuck with you. Oh, scrap, I fuck with you. For me, like the video for me, watch it all the way through. You gonna learn something for me. But listen, man, today we're gonna talk about scene retention and where the fuck is your dedication, my nigga? You feel me? You gotta be dedicated, bro. You can't be in here slacking off and shit like that, you feel me? But it's not just about, like, retention, bro. It's about everything, bro. Whatever you do, bro, you got to be dedicated to your shit, bro. You got to, bro. Like, think about it. What if LeBron, you feel me, never was like, like, this nigga only played ball, nigga, when he had to play ball. Like, nigga, niggas would be like, oh, this nigga LeBron a bitch. This nigga, ooh, ooh, he not even that good, ooh, ooh. But the reason he good like that, you feel me, is because he was dedicated, my nigga, you feel me? Like Kobe Bryant, my nigga, them niggas is dedicated, bro. Them motherfuckers, boy, they ass not taking a day off. Fuck you talking about? Them niggas in the gym, nigga. They throwing them bitches. They shooting like a motherfucker, doing all that good shit, you feel me? Because then why? Because they dedicated, my nigga, you feel me? So you got to be dedicated, bro. Whatever you do, bro, dedicate yourself to that shit, bro. For me, if it's not your passion, I don't want to say dedicate yourself to that shit, my nigga, but just get yourself better all around, you feel me? Like... You want to just be good at certain shit, you feel me? You don't want to... If it's not what you really want to do, bro, don't dedicate yourself to that shit, bro. But, like, you feel me? Like, always being happy, nigga, dedicate yourself to that shit immediately, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Well, you're not always going to feel happy, but you don't want to feel bad, like, for me? Like, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't want to feel bad, though, you feel me? So, yeah, bro, like, see what you got to dedicate yourself to that shit, bro. If you keep... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Releasing, bro, every other day, bro. Like, how the fuck is you going to say you dedicated, my nigga? You not. You you had a low version of yourself. Every time you get an urge, you got to just keep releasing. You just got to just keep going, right? You just got to keep doing it, right? Because you're not dedicated. You believe that, oh, man, if I just do it, it's not going to matter. No, bro. Stop doing it, bro. <laughs> stop, bro. Just don't take that thought out your head of you just even doing that shit, bro. Just say, man, I'm not doing that shit, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. That's all you, bro. That is the only way you're going to get over whatever, <laughs> any addiction you're trying to get over, bro. It's to tell yourself, bro, I'm not doing that shit anymore, bro. I'm not doing it, bro. Why do think, think ask yourself these questions? Why do I keep doing this shit? Okay, your answer might be to feel good. My nigga, okay. But bro, you gotta find other ways to feel good in life, my nigga. You just sitting in your room or whatever you at, bro, doing that shit, bro. That shit is not cool, bro. Like, bro, I don't know who told you that shit's cool, but bro, that shit is not boo, my nigga. That shit is not sanctioned. Saying, get your little creepy ass down, man. Like, sit your little creepy ass. Get your little creepy looking ass. Like, boy, your little pervert looking ass. Boy, motherfucking, um, what's that nigga? Crocker off a Tim Turner looking ass. Boy, your little weird ass. Boy, get your weird ass on. Like, nigga, that shit is not cool. Like, what the fuck? Like, whoever told you niggas that shit is cool, bro, they lied to your ass, bro. You think a girl really want a grown ass man or a, a nigga in his room just wilding out on his shit every day? Nigga, no, bro. She want that nigga that's saving, retaining, bro. You feel me? Because then your skin going to start looking better, my nigga. You feel me? All that energy is put in you, bro. So you want to say that energy. You just don't want to be releasing it, bro. Especially to girls who don't, you feel me? Like, the girls on the screen, you watching that shit too, bro. They low vibrational. Them bitches is porn stars. Them bitches is getting fucked by multiple niggas. You feel me, bro? They at a low version of they self, bro. They just getting just blown out on camera, bro. Oh, this is my girlfriend. Oh, my God. I want to marry these bitches, bro. So you want to marry a girl who just love getting piped out by multiple niggas at, at, at just <laughs> by multiple niggas, bro? Like, come on now, my nigga. But that's your type of girl, right? That shit don't even make sense, bro. I'm trying to even think that shit in my head, bro. You like a girl who getting piped up by multiple niggas. You like her because she could just go crazy. That's all you want, bro. You just want a girl who could go crazy. You don't want a girl that can stimulate your mind, my nigga. And that's your problem. You want a girl... That could stimulate you, bro. Mentally, bro. Fuck her physically, bro. Because after you get done going crazy and blowing your shit, boy, now you back to real life, my nigga. Now you're going to be like, man, I don't even like this bitch for real. For me, man, this bitch kind of ugly for real. Man, why they even do that shit? Man, I'm about to call this bitch an Uber. For me, because you didn't really like the bitch. You just wanted to go crazy with her, bro. So listen, this is the reason why you got to go on this retention shit, bro. To boost your energy and just basically, it helps you just discipline yourself and other facets of your life, my nigga. Because if you could control your sexual energy, my nigga, you could control everything, bro. You could control how you feel. You could control your fucking money, your spending. You could control you exercising every day. You could control what you eat. You could control how you, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you could control everything, bro. Because if you could control your sexual energy, bro, you could control everything, bro. 
Because when you horny, my nigga, I'm not going to lie, my nigga. That shit is a different feeling, my nigga. We all feel with that shit. And then when you horny, nigga, you don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> like, nigga, you talking about the amount of fucks you give. That shit is out the window. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm jumping out the window with this one. Yes, bro. We jumped out the window. Fuck you mean? Like, <laughs> like nigga, that shit is gone. You feel me? So listen, bro. Stop going off of your fucking, you feel me? Like, stop thinking like, oh, ooh, ooh, just because I bust this time, ooh, ooh, it's not going to change nothing. This down the third, nigga. Nah, bro, it's going to change something, bro. You feel me? So you don't want to just keep doing that shit, my nigga. Like, that shit is not the mood. That shit is not cool, bro. You feel me? And I'm looking at my dog right now. That nigga, I mean, she pissing right now and shit. Get hella nasty ass. Oh, bro. <laughs> but nah, you feel me? Like, that shit is not the mood. That shit is not cool. That shit is not sanctioned. You feel me? So, yeah, bro. Stop doing that shit, bro. On God, bro. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, animals can't masturbate, nigga. You think an animal, you think, you think if an animal can masturbate? Nah, he probably would. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but listen, you feel me? Stop doing that shit, bro. Be dedicated, bro. Put that time and effort into yourself, my nigga. And just get over that shit, bro. Stop doing that shit, bro. You bigger than that shit, bro. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you that shit. You bigger than that shit, bro. So listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on what you gotta do, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. But for me, you know what I'm saying? Like the video for me. Subscribe if you're new for me. Follow me on Instagram at LBRDES. LBRDZ is in the description. Or I'm gonna put it in the comment section down below for me. Follow a nigga for me. And yeah, man. That's all I gotta say, man. But listen, man. I'm gonna get around making another video. I'm gonna get around to doing that shit. But until then, my nigga. You already know what I'm about to say, right? Mouth this bitch on, bro. <laughs>